Jumping for joy. Is that, is exactly. that what it is? That's it. <laughs> it's got to be it. Cooler temperatures, yes. They are moving back into North Texas as well as some rainfall showing up on our radar. You can see some scattered action as we move on into this afternoon. First half of the day, pretty much dry here. Some uh, dry low levels in the atmosphere have made this a slow transition, but we're slowly starting to see some rainfall in pockets. You can see a little bit of a line stretching off to the northeast. Uh, places like Fannin County have been dealing with this. Some heavy downpours, occasionally some lightning at best. That is staying pretty much just north of I-30. And then lighter, spottier shower activity. Places like Mineral Wells starting to get in on that front edge of some lighty, some light scattered shower activity moving on through the rest of the afternoon. It's keeping temperatures certainly in check. We are staying about 10 degrees below average. Check it out. 85 Denton and Fort Worth, 90 degrees. McKinney at 85. Corsicana, 94, where they've not seen quite as much cloud cover or any rain. But there are certainly some spots feeling the effects. You can see places over 10 degrees cooler than this time just yesterday. Back to the west where they're starting to get in on that rain. Breckenridge, it's 18 degrees cooler, so changes are certainly coming with the rain and the cooler temperatures. Here's where we're headed the rest of tonight. The evening period, it's going to be very scattered activity that we see. Mainly showers may have a few isolated storms embedded. Nothing all that widespread yet. Now, once we get into late tonight, after midnight, we start to change into a widespread rain. One, two o'clock, those showers are filling in. Again, some embedded storms. Mainly, they're just going to be those heavy rain producers. And especially our eastern half, seeing some heavy rain as we wake up early on Wednesday to the heaviest rain. It starts to diminish tomorrow afternoon, certainly by tomorrow night. And then as we get into Thursday, a brief little break before we pick up more rain heading into Friday. So as far as our amounts, we could see a nice soaking rain from this, especially if you're in our eastern half. We're still looking at about one to two inches widespread. Isolated spots over two inches, not out of the question. Quite a soggy start for this first week of August. Normally our driest month of the year. Not the case as we kick it off this week. This biggest chances will be, of course, Wednesday. We pick them back up on Friday, and actually we're going to keep them around on and off rain to watch for the weekend. For tonight, 73 degrees, your evening plans. Keep the umbrella around as we're dodging those spotty showers. The widespread stuff really picks up tonight. Heavy showers the first half of Wednesday with cooler temperatures. A high tomorrow, 87. And your extended forecast looks like this. We'll keep those numbers in the upper 80s low 90s on and off rain right into your weekend first week of august a little unusual guys